Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the second episode of my Spore walkthrough and narration. Uh, I'm still in the stealth stage, as you can see. I'm uh, I'm nearly done. Not too much uh, left to do. Uh, today, I'm just going to finish the cell stage. I'm not going to go into the creature stage. I don't have any footage of the creature stage shot yet. So, um, I will do that when I get time. Uh, it might not come out the next day, as this one did after the other one, but uh, I will do my best to make it as soon as possible. Um, right now, I'm just finishing off, eating some plant, eating some meat, you know, doing the omnivore thing, uh, getting wrecked by some uh, some random creatures in the water. Nothing uh, nothing too new, as you saw last uh, last episode. I have died again, of course. Uh, dying is a very natural occurrence in the cell stage, especially if you're not very well prepared to get through it, if you have very small weapons and such. Um, right now I'm going to mate, and I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to customize my creature for the second last time. Just put some cilia on there so I can turn better. And uh, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Cool. Now, if you find the cell stage is boring, or you, you like it a little bit, and you just want to see what's on the go next, uh, the creature stage is definitely a lot better than the cell stage. It takes a lot longer. Um, well, not a lot longer. It's still a good amount of play time, though. <laughs> Nothing too serious, though. Uh... I have uh, not very much left of this stage, so you will get to see the very first glimpses of what my creature will look like in the next stage. Even I don't know what it's going to look like uh, in the next stage yet, because I have only just put legs on it by the end of this video. Um, the way it evolves is pretty cool. It kind of goes through a little uh, makeshift animation of uh, how they uh, make evolution seem small and stuff like that, so... Nothing too, uh, nothing too uh, fancy or anything, but it's definitely cool. Definitely cool. Uh, right now, I'm just getting uh, sucked up by this uh, little uh, little jerk over there with the omnivore mouth, which is actually called the omnivore nose. Funnily enough, as you probably heard me say in the last episode, and you were thinking, "What? You don't eat with your nose? What's up with that?" But uh, it's definitely the omnivore knows, as far as I can remember. Um, I'm almost out now. I have a very small amount of stuff to eat before I'm out of this stage. Um, once I get my last DNA point, I'm going to uh, customize my creature for the last time before I put legs on. Oh yes, I've, uh, I've finally grown a brain, which means uh, apparently when you have a brain, you are now able to evolve. So, that's pretty exciting, honestly. I'm pretty excited. So, uh, now you just... This shows your timeline. So, as you can see, it uh, shows what your creature looked like, how much you've eaten, how many... when you die, what your creature looks like towards the end. And as you can see, I'm a herbivore at the end here, and underneath it you can see omnivore and carnivore. Now, if I had eaten a balance of plant and meat, that would have been in the middle. Or if I had eaten more meat, it would have been down at the bottom at carnivore. And each class, I guess you would call it, has a different f set of four moves, which will help you throughout the, all the other stages. So, if you look at the, st the, uh, the abilities, you'll figure out which ones you want to use, basically. Nothing too extremely hard to figure out. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys. Um, right now, I'm just going to put the legs on my creature, and uh, now I can uh, do basically whatever I want with him now. My, it does now make sense for my creature to have a spine, because he is a he is a vertebrate now, because he is no longer a, in a just a small organism. So that's pretty exciting. Um, right now, I'm just uh, screwing around, seeing what kind of shape I want my creature to have, see where I want his legs and stuff like that, before I actually figure out what I want to be on the go with him, right? 
he uh, he's a pretty terrifying little low looking little creature at the beginning there. Uh, towards the end of the creature stage, I know he will look a lot better than that because I will have more parts to customize him with, as opposed to just just having the uh, just having the uh, cell stage parts, which I have now. Um. So he looks kind of cool. He looks kind of like he has wings there. He's got horns. So that's kind of cool, right? I think he's looking pretty awesome. He looks kind of like a little water demon, which is always, always pretty cool. Um, sorry if I haven't made enough funny comments in this episode. There was nothing really to poke fun at in this uh, in this little segment of my spore walkthrough and commentary. Um, I promise, as the game gets uh, more into it, the episodes will definitely get more interesting. Um... Keep in mind, if I stutter or anything, I am doing this on the spot. I have no written out script or anything, so I'm just do I'm just doing my best for your entertainment because everything always comes out better when it's made up on the spot, except for school projects. Stay in school, kids. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna give him the uh, the poison spitter so that he can actually uh, attack, other than uh, charging at people. I'm just trying to figure out the best place for it, really. I'll pr I think I put it on his... Yeah, I just put it on his back here. Uh, he looks kind of cool. I, I kind of like him. I think he's kind of cool. Um, now, once you get into the creature stage, you unlock more parts, like way more than you did in uh, in the cell stage. You unlock different types of feet, different types of hands, different types of mouths, different types of eyes. Lots of... Way, way too much for me to actually memorize. Um... I'm going to change the name of my creature right now to the uh, Vecronite. Pretty cool little name he's got there. because uh, And I will do that. The, mo the uh, more advanced my creature becomes, the uh, the different names I will give it, and the names will get more complex and cool. Well, not complex, but more like more elaborate, I will say. I will say elaborate. This is just uh, loading the creature stage for me, so I'm pretty excited about that. I uh, The video's almost over now, guys. Um... Once you get a you get a little glimpse at what the creature stage is going to look like, this is a little cutscene showing how my creature comes to uh, comes to become a land creature, as you might say. He calls out all of his other species, all of his other uh, little friends of the uh, Vecronite clan, which just magically evolved at the exact same time he did. Funnily enough, is funnily even a word? I'm not sure. I think it might be. I am not sure. It's a very nice looking planet. Don't you agree? I think it's a very, very fancy-looking planet. Um, my video is now coming to a close. That's a little uh, preview of what the creature stage is going to look like. I'm going to save here now, and I will thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.